In this video, we will start with solving logarithmic equations. You will find this on page 403 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Solving logarithmic equations. Logarithmic equations contain logarithmic expressions and constants. We have already learned how to solve simple logarithmic equations. But in this section, we will learn how to solve more complicated equations. Check. All solutions, values of x, of a logarithmic equations must be checked because negative numbers do not have logarithms. The solution might not be valid in the original equation. This is very, very important. The other one, which we usually, when it was equations, and when there was an x in the denominator, can you remember that? Say, so, then we also had to check the solutions. Okay, and the other one um, was with absolute values. We also checked the solutions. Let's look at example 9. Again, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Do we see better? Okay, here it is. Sum of log bracket x minus 1 plus log bracket x minus 4 equals 1. Okay. Now the first thing what I have to do is I must make this one term. Now how do I do? If it's a plus, I can write one word and I multiply the x minus 1 and the x minus 4. I use that rule. Okay. Then it's the product rule. Then this one, I'm basically going to convert from log to exponential form. So if there's standing nothing, there's a 10. So keep the 10 and take that 2 and swap it. That's what I did. And then I was, or will multiply out, okay? And then I factorize and I get x is 6 or x is negative 1. Okay. Or, and this was, the, you can also take note of this, I was creating a log word, okay, with the base of 10. So it will be 10, 10, which will be 1. Okay, and then... And I come to now to this principle. Then I, if I have one term equals one term, one log word, one log word, I can take the log words away and just write this. Okay. And that's what I did. I multiply out, take over, I get x is 6 or x is negative 1. Okay. Always check your answers in the original logarithmic equation. So go take the answer, put it in, and see if it's making it um, true. If this, yes, it's working. You can even do this one on your calculator. You can press on your calculator log 5, log 5, plus log 2. And I get 1. Okay. Uh, it's a bit more difficult if, if the base is not 10. In this case, I put the negative 1. Oh, and actually all that I have to look... I just must see that I don't get a negative. As soon as I get a negative there, lock a negative, then it's not working. So only x equals 6 satisfies the original equation. Hence, the only solution is x is equal to 6. Now, what is the property for solving logarithmic equation? If m and n are positive numbers and a is not equal to 1, the base, then if I have one term equals one term, one lock word, one lock word, I can take the log words away and I can just put m equal to n. That's the principle. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1a. Okay, let's start very nice, very easy. And then I think number d. So a very easy but more challenging one. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. I know number 1a. I'm first going to write it down. So it's going to be log. The base is 4. Do you see that? Okay. Now, this one is a typical one. This is the easiest to do this one. It's to just go from log form to exponential form. So it's going to be 4. And I, I'm going to swap this to... And I'm just going to say 4 to the power 2 is equal to x plus 1. So 16 is equal to x plus 1. So x equals 16 minus 1. So therefore, x is equal to 15. And I'm, I'm doing my check. 
put it in the original, see if you get negative. So 15 plus 1, now it's going to be positive, it's fine. So therefore, um, x equals 15 is the solution. Okay, and that's how you do it. Very, very easy one. Okay, now we can go for a bit of more challenging one. In this case, we are going to go for number D. And we're going to write it down. So it's locked, base is 2. Do you see? 1 minus Y minus log. The base is 2. 5 plus Y. And that's equal to E. Now, again, I think in this one, it doesn't matter, but I think it's still the easiest if there's a constant. Okay, before we go to the constant, let's just make this one term. So, because it's, um, we're going to follow the quotient rule. So, it was, we followed the product, and this is now the quotient. Let's just go back. Let me just show you. Okay, we was all... Oh. Okay, here it is. So we followed the product rule, and now we're going to follow the quotient rule. And how does the quotient rule work? We are going to say log 2, and now it's going to be division, 1 log word. Okay. But, and now, I'm still going to go from log form to exponential form. So I'm just, oh, let me just take this. I'm going to swap this. Okay. What is my base? Remember your base is 2. So if I swap 2 to the power 3 equals 1 minus y, 5 plus y. So 2 to the power 3 is 8. It's 1 minus y, 5 plus y. And then I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to get 8. 5 plus y equals, if I multiply that, 1 minus y. So I'm going to get 40 plus 8y is equal to 1 minus y. Let's just put it up a little bit. Now I can bring the y's over. So 8y plus that 1y. I take this over, so it's 1 minus 40. So I'm going to get... And 9y equals negative 39. I divide 9, I divide 9. So therefore, y is equal. I can either leave it or I can uh, to 39 over 9. Oh, but this can simplify. If you have 39, uh, ABC 9, it, this can simplify. You can simplify this one. By saying divide by 3, I'll show you now the fraction. So if you divide by 3, you're going to get 1, um, you're going to get 3, and you're going to get 3. And you can simplify to negative 4, can you see, and a third. So I would say you can draw, not this, it's not simplified. You can either leave it like this, or you can leave it like this. But now... I still have to do the check. Don't forget your check, always. So let's do the check. And I'm going to put it in the original one. So I'm going to say log 2, uh, 1, my, uh, sorry, I'm not writing correctly, 1 minus, minus 4 and a third, minus log, Two, five, plus, minus four and a third. And I, oh, I'm checking. I just checked that I don't get negatives there. So let's see what do I get. So this is going to be one plus, luckily. So it's going to be five and a third. Can you see? And this is going to be log two. This is four minus, so it's going to be two thirds left. So that's going to be fine. This is positive, this is positive. So I can just end up by saying 
therefore, um, well, it's not X. The solution of the equation is Y equals negative 4 a third. Okay, and that's how you do it. So your only check will always be that you get a positive there and a positive there. Then it's the solution.